So who is Noemi? Like Noemi, like that's like obviously that's me. My brother Sally, my brother Hondo, like feel me. We like we came about this shit. Like we came about it as a group. It's like twenty eighteen, whatever, like, like twenty eight before twenty eighteen, like we started we started establishing whatever whatever. We used to establish it in like twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen, whatever, but niggas became a group in twenty eighteen. We had did a song together. Um, me and my, long story short, me and Hundo had did a, a remix to a song together, and then I knew Sally had just came home around the time, like this, this, like the end of the summer, previous, like 2017 or whatever, whatever. So, so obviously, I was linking up with Sally and shit. Hundo and Sally didn't really even know each other like that. So boom, I introduced niggas. We linked up. Long story short, we did a song. The song went up, and ever since then, it was just like even before, like it was just history. Like niggas already. Niggas was moving together, like niggas was doing everything as a team for years now. Like for me, this shit, like literally, like, like we all brothers at the same, like the end of the day, like this shit, like we family outside of this whole, this whole music shit, like you feel me? Hmm. I made my first song in like in 2010. Um, my son Peter, my son Brandon, that nigga still, my son Brandon still around to this day. That nigga be helping me out with shit, like a little shit. I, I, but, um. Yeah, he put me in. A, he put me in a. He put me in a loop with the music shit for a fact. Like I had did my first hook for him in 2010. Literally, like, I, I got the song. I think it's up on my SoundCloud. I don't know if it's private or not, but it was up on my SoundCloud at one point. Yeah. Who is that, bro? Huh? Is you? Yeah. Like personally, personally, like. I really like I really enjoy like I like rap music a lot. Like I ain't gonna lie, I like rap music. Like I do a lot of rap, I, I like I do a lot of freestyles so, like that shit a lot more simpler to make a song to, you feel me? But like R and B music is more like I really I I like R and B music personally more. Like that's just more like feel me? Like if I could strictly I wanna I wanna say strictly because I don't like limiting myself to one lane. Like I feel like I could be in multiple lanes. But it's like I really like R and B music a lot. Like I'd rather sit here and make R and B music. Like I feel like it's more of like a, a industry thing. Like more of a, more of like I can. I don't know. Like I feel like you grow more off of, feel me, of different lanes. And rap is for certain people. Like certain niggas. Like that's for the streets. That's for the trenches. Like that's not for everybody. Clearly, like everybody not going jack that. You feel me? Majority of the motherfuckers is going jack the R and B shit. Like I can. I don't know. Like depends on what I got going on. It's, I freestyle. I freestyle majority of my music, literally, like, like a lot of my music. I've been trying to write a little bit more now. I don't go to the studio. I already know what I'm about to do, type shit. That are live, three to five features. All right. Well, my favorite rapper of all time, like favorite businessman, favorite rapper, whatever you want to say, like Jay Z. Like, niggas, the fucking goat. It's clear as day. Um. But like as of right now, like this generation. Durkio, of course. So I'm, I'm obviously have to go Jay Z. I'm have to go Jay Z, Durkio. Niggas know what Drake do. Come on, I get a Drake feature. I would, I, I would have to put my like I ain't gonna lie. I'm Jack and Glow, put in my son Glow, my brother TK, um, Bam clearly, you feel me? Um, who else? Who else? Who else I'm playing my top five? My son DT Beezy. DT Beezy. Um, who else? Who I'm forgetting? My GMB guys, yeah, them niggas. My GMB guys, yeah, probably. I have to go with my GMB guys, definitely. Cause they, my, my son's been putting at work. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to go with my GMB guys. My son Rax, Pookie. I mean, them niggas going crazy. Definition of success is new envy. Simple. It's like about, it's like achieving it's, it's like it's like achieving what you want to do, like feel me. But like, but you gotta be, 
but like being successful, like you gotta be, you obviously gotta achieve what you what you had planned, like what you set your mind to. You gotta like definitely gotta you gotta make a lot of bread in the process. You feel me? Like gotta be, that's that's what com that's it comes with being successful, like whatever, whatever. And you just gotta get shit straight. You just gotta have everything like situated, like when you got everything situated that you got in your mind, like that you already had thought about and planned out or whatever, like. Oh, new work, man. I ain't gonna lie. I've been working. I've been working so much. I ain't gonna lie. I've been from the studio, obviously linking up with Rami, doing everything possible from fucking these videos and everything else. Like, I don't know. I've been working a lot, bro. I got a lot of new shit coming. A lot of new shit. Just, just, just be patient. And just expect a lot of new shit. Right, that's all I can really say. Like, a lot. That's the rest of my interview, man. Like, go tune in. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Go tune into my YouTube channel, feel me? Go tune into my brother. Shout out my brother, Rami, feel me? Shout out to Five. Shout out my new envy niggas, you feel me? We working. We got a lot of new shit coming. For them niggas next, for real. Don't think, don't count niggas out at all. We together, but you know the damn. And I always got your back. You can always in my phone. Oh. Cause you're still getting mad at me.